What is it like to buy a home in Austin, Texas right now? Well, I'm gonna break down our latest market stats and then I'm also going to tell you what has happened since the big NAR settlement. A bunch of new changes just took place August 17th. So stay tuned to this market minute. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to know if you're planning on buying a home this year in Austin. <music> So I just got the latest stats from the Austin Board of Realtors. These are for the month of July. Our stats are always one month behind, but they still give us a good uh, trend where we can see what's happening so far and it helps us to predict where things are headed. So this month in Travis County, we did not see any price increase or decrease. The price is kind of flatlined from June to July, but you can see they were rising in the spring. They kind of hit the peak in May and then they tapered off. City of Austin did have a decline, but it's basically following that same pattern. So May was the peak of the market this year. Um, usually our prices go up in the spring. They kind of hit the peak around June or July and then they start tapering down, but we started coming down a little bit sooner. So a lot of this, in my opinion, is related to interest rates. Um, a bunch of clients of, of ours and, and just home buyers in general are kind of waiting for the Fed to lower the rates in September. They've announced that they're going to do it and a lot of experts are like 100% positive that's going to happen. It may, they may even um, drop rates again a second time this year. We'll have to see how things play out. But for our clients that are just, you know, moving now because they need to, or just because they can, you know, still get a great deal on a home, we are getting tremendous deals right now and they have unbelievable negotiating power. So especially with new construction, I'll tell you a story. I've got a client who just went under contract last week on a new construction home in our neighborhood. They got about 60,000 off the price of this home. They knocked off the lot premium. It backs to a green belt. They're not having to pay that. They are getting about 50% off the design selections inside. Then on top of that, the builder is paying for their rate to be bought down to a 4.99 and that's a fixed 30 year rate. If rates drop, they can even float down that rate if they go lower. And then they're also getting all of their closing costs paid for. So it's an unbelievable opportunity right now for our buyers who are brave enough to go out um, with the higher rates in the sixes and just again, negotiate the closing cost to get that rate down, negotiate the price down. Once rates do drop, and I don't know how low they're gonna drop, but if they drop back down into the fives, a lot more people are going to re-enter the market. So that means there's probably gonna be more competition uh, we may actually see prices go up a little in the fall where normally they taper off. We'll just have to see. Now I'm not predicting crazy bidding wars like we saw in 2021 um, because our rates are not going to be down in the twos and threes, but I do think more home buyers will enter the market once things become more affordable. Every time a rate drops by 1%, it increases your purchasing power by about 10%. So it's a big um, swing right now. And, and just if it dropped even a half a percent or whatever, more people will be able to afford homes. But like I said, if you are kind of on the cusp of being able to afford it, talk to us because we can oftentimes get your rate down lower or get the price down lower. So your monthly payments are exactly where you need to be. Now, another advantage of buying right now is there's a, so much inventory. We have almost six months of inventory, which means if no one listed their home for six months, that would take that long to sell up all of the houses that we have right now. I do predict that once rates drop, that this inventory will start to shrink because more buyers will be buying up those homes. Right now, it's also taking about 60 days to sell a home. So you do have a lot of time to like think about homes or if you see something you like, maybe go back and visit it a second time. If things start moving faster, then those days on market will also start coming down a bit. So it's gonna benefit homeowners for sure once the rates come down. You'll still have good bargaining power as a buyer, but probably not the same as you do right now. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the chaos on the news headlines that are talking about this settlement of the National Association of Realtors. So if you've been reading any headline news, I've seen things like, um, you know, buyers are going to start having to pay their agents out of pocket for their commissions. 
Um, I've seen crazy things on social media saying that only listing agents are gonna thrive, there's no more buyer's agents, just complete chaos <laughs> and a lot of exaggeration and kind of clickbait headlines. So the reality is there were some big changes after a settlement um, with the National Association of Realtors. So homeowners now have more choices on how they are paying out agent fees and it's just more transparency. So in the past, it used to be that a, a homeowner would sign their listing agreement with a brokerage and they would charge X percent and then that brokerage would share that commission to whoever bought or brought a buyer to that home. So it was forced commission sharing and that is something that's not going to be allowed right now. So instead, um, it's more transparent on the listing agreement that they're gonna pay their listing broker this amount of money to sell the home. And then sellers can still offer compensation to the buying brokerage. And so that's where the myth is that there's no more sellers paying commission. That's absolutely not true. The majority of sellers are still willing to do that because they want to bring buyers to their home. They know that most people have a buyer's agent. And so we're not really seeing any major changes here. Um, all of the homes that we've negotiated recently for our buyers, our commissions were covered by the homeowner or from the new construction builder who is the seller in those cases. So it's really not as um, a big of a shakeup as what the news headlines are making it. So you are not forced to pay us directly out of pocket at closing for our, for our fees or our compensation. That's something we've been able to successfully negotiate. And just so you know, in Texas, we've always used buyer representation agreements, at least at any brokerage that I've been a part of. So this is also nothing new that our clients sign a buyer representation agreement. We've been doing that as long as I've been in the business. Um, so I feel actually excited and, and prepared for these changes. And um, it's really a time for agents who are experienced to shine and show their value and also their negotiating skills to protect their, their clients. So do not think that you can't buy a home now or you have to pay us to open a door or something like that. It is, it, like I said, been kind of exaggerated. I have a full length longer video that really goes into more details about this, but you can also just um, shoot me an email or schedule a phone call if you want to know more and I can help address some of your concerns and give you more facts. So as always, real estate is very hyper local. Every market, every neighborhood's a little bit different. If you have specific questions about your upcoming move, please reach out to us and we'd love to help.